Hi, this is BJ with Taylor Martin Auctioneers. We have a lot of exciting things happening as we enter the new year, and one of those things is a new website. Today we're going to go through the process on how to create a new account or log into an existing account on your mobile device using the new website. When visiting taylormartin.com, hit login in the top right corner of your personal device. For new customers, you'll register by creating a new account. You'll enter your personal information, create a password, and verify your email. Once you receive the email, you can confirm your account for taylormartin.com. For existing customers, you'll be required to reset your password. By hitting forget your password, you'll be able to follow the steps on how to create a new password. Hit email link and it'll send you a link to reset your password for the new Taylor Martin website. Once you've created your account on the new website, in order to bid or view a live auction, you'll need to update your profile. On your mobile device, from the home page, click View Auctions. Scroll to the auction and join Live Auction. A banner will pop up saying you need to complete your profile before you can participate any further. Click on that banner. At this time, you'll have to fill out all the required fields in order to proceed. Once you've updated your profile, you'll be told to accept the terms and conditions. Once you've accepted the terms and conditions, the bidding approval screen will appear. If you just wish to view the sale in progress, you can exit from this screen at this time. If you wish to be approved to bid online, you'll need to complete one of the three options. Those options are credit card, wire transfer, or bank letter. Click on one of the three options for instructions on how to be approved. Once you've been approved to bid online, you can follow the sale on your mobile device. When you find the piece of equipment you wish to bid on, you can follow the auctioneer as the price increases. You may also scroll through the pictures of that piece of equipment. When you wish to bid on that piece of equipment, simply move the red arrow to the right to submit your bid. The status of your bid is on the bottom. If you're winning the item, it'll tell you so. Once you've been outbid, your status will change. If you are the successful bidder on that lot, you can view your bid history and purchases under View Activity. An invoice will also be sent to your email that's associated with your Taylor & Martin profile. If you're unable to participate in the live auction, you can leave a proxy bid by hitting the Leave Max Bid button on the screen. When prompted to, enter your maximum amount you'd wish to bid on each piece of equipment. You'll be asked to confirm your maximum bid on that piece of equipment Confirm by hitting yes. To check the status of your proxy bids, you can hit view activity to see which items you purchased. Again, an invoice will be emailed to you at the conclusion of the auction. Now we're going to discuss how to leave a maximum bid on your mobile device for an upcoming sale. From the home screen, hit view auctions and select the auction you'd like to leave a bid on. Now select view lots. Scroll through the equipment until you find the piece of equipment you'd like to leave a maximum bid on and hit Place Bid Now. Enter your maximum bid amount and hit Submit Max Bid. You'll be asked to confirm your maximum bid. Once you've confirmed your maximum bid, that bid will be represented on that piece of equipment on the day of the sale. You can also go in and increase or decrease that maximum bid up until that lot has sold during the live auction. When bidding on your mobile device, you may notice that some pieces of equipment have spec changes from the original description provided by Taylor & Martin. These spec changes will be listed above the description and you'll have to confirm these spec changes by clicking here. Check the box and accept lot updates in order to bid on that piece of equipment. Those specification changes will be listed above the description along with the additional item notes that pertain to that particular unit. When bidding on your mobile device, you'll notice that some lots are offered in a choice group. On the top of the screen, you'll see what lot numbers are offered in that choice along with the bidding style being choice. 
If you're the successful bidder on a choice group, a screen will appear where you can select which lots you'd like to purchase out of that choice group. Once you've selected the items you'd like to purchase, hit submit to confirm your purchases. And remember, you have 30 seconds to select your choice or the first available unit will be selected for you.